Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I am going to show you guys how to make your Affinity Designer SVGs upload properly in Cricut Design Space. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Sorry this has taken me so long to do. Uh, I know that I've been posting the group that I found a workaround for this. Hopefully this will work for you guys as well. I'm going to walk you through it very quickly and then I will go through a live example so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Hopefully I don't muff it up on the way. Um, I've been really busy with my new house and work and so it's really kind of taken me away from video creation but I'm trying to get back in a good swing. Um, it's just I have a lot of projects going on right now so I want to get this out to you guys today because a lot of you have been asking about it. So I'm just going to head on over to my computer screen and we're going to get started. So I already have um, Affinity Designer open and I just created a basic SVG with a uh, heart and some text in it, okay? And so I'm going to show you what this looks like. Oh, there's a bug in here. Um, when, I, when I just save it or export it as an SVG. So when I click on export, you have all these different export settings in your menu. Um, and you just wanna click on SVG, SVG for export, okay? Since this is an SVG, we're not rasterizing anything. Um, and we're gonna do the whole document and we're gonna click on export, okay? So I'm gonna save this as add export test, okay? And we're gonna click on save. Um, I already ran through this to make sure I could jog my memory and everything worked out beautifully after my update so I'm gonna go into Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna upload this file okay and click on insert image and as you can see this is a really tiny SVG okay so I'm like what in the world um, I know everybody's been experiencing this with Affinity Designer from inception and so I was on the hunt to try to figure out what in the world can I do to make this easier. And it took a lot of digging, but I found something that will certainly help, okay? So I'm gonna go back to Affinity Designer here. And what I have found, okay, is there is this export persona in your top bar. You're going to click on that, okay? And it's gonna open up another menu. And you'll see that my cursor has this little purple box around it. We are going to select our design, okay? Now you can move this little box uh, to make it like centered or whatever you think looks good, but you wanna select this design. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a slice of your design. Now, I already have the options set up so I can show you guys what this looks like. But if you go to the preset for SVG for export, you can see the file format is SVG. It's using the document resolution, allowing JPEG compression. And when you scroll down, you can see that the set view box is checked and adding in line breaks. Okay, so I played around with this a little bit. And what I found was, I'm going to go ahead and load up my, my test uh, preset. The file format is SVG, okay? You're gonna rasterize nothing. I just did a simple use DPI of 72 because my default resolution on my documents is always 300 DPI in case I'm trying to create something for like, let's say printables, okay? So I always have that set to 300. So I just back that off since we're just focusing specifically on SVGs here, okay? I unchecked allow JPEG compression and none of these check boxes are checked for this particular example, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, now that I'm ready, I have my design selected. You're gonna go over to the slice and you're gonna click this little button right here to export all formats for this item, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And I'm gonna save this as test number two and click on save. Now I'm gonna go back into Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna upload the file. Click on Upload. 
I'm going to click on it and insert this into my frame and there you go, okay? So it's in about an eight and eight by eight, nine by eight, really. So if you go back and look at this, uh, it seems as though it is pretty similar as far as um, what the width and the height were in the actual document itself, okay? So bigger. I'm gonna run this through really fast. I'm gonna go back to Affinity Designer and I'm gonna go to File, New. And you can see in my preset for paper, it's a 12 by 12 at 300 uh, DPI and the document unit is in inches, okay? I'm gonna click on Create and I'm just gonna draw a simple ellipse. I want to get that filled in like this, I don't know, bluish color and go to my text. Let's see if my fonts have loaded. I was having some issues with my fonts loading the other day. It was very frustrating. And I'm going to make that a much bigger font. Okay. And again, with the font, you know that we want to go to um, convert to curves, ungroup, and then you're just going to go to, um, where the heck is it? Combine. Okay, so now that's all together. Just gonna move this. Select both of these. Do 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 do. And we'll we need to duplicate. And then I'm gonna click on this. Whoops! I didn't want all that. And subtract that out. Whoops, I did the wrong one, didn't I? I sure did. Subtract that out. Okay, I'm going to group these together. So again, if I go to File, Export, SVG for Export, AD Test. Okay, that went ahead and exported. So we'll go ahead and delete these guys. We're going to upload this, upload, teeny tiny little guy. All right, so again, we're going to go through it one more time. You're going to go to Export Persona. We're going to go to Preset. You can go down. I highly recommend that you save this when you do it. So again, SVG for export, this is not gonna work. They have use document resolution checked, allow JPEG compression, and these two checked down here at the bottom. And also has unsupported properties for rasterize. You're going to change this to nothing. You're going to use DPI of 72. You're going to uncheck allow compression, uncheck set view box, and you can see that it's gonna go right back to my test here. Okay, once that's done, click on this. We're gonna do AD test two, save that. Go back to Cricut Design Space, upload our image, upload, load that into the canvas, and we've got it, okay? now. I understand sometimes when you go through and do this that the actual test is going to be bigger than what the person may want. It is much easier to just kind of downsize that. I personally would rather have the design be a little bit bigger than a little bit smaller, but that is the general gist of what you guys need to do. So um, play around with it a little bit. I haven't had a lot of time to play around with it to determine exactly how uh, Affinity Designer decides to export the size 
quite yet, but I'm gonna continue to play around with it. At least for now, this will give you guys some sort of an idea if you're not already using the export persona on how you guys can utilize the tool in Affinity Designer because it is very useful. So if you have any questions, drop a comment in the comments box below or head on over to the Facebook group. We're creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. And as always, um, if you need anything, feel free to reach out. If you got something out of this video, please click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you guys can grow your business and change your life. And I will catch you all on the next one. Have a good one.